Hi, I'm Wayne for Body Bicycles. This is our new Ronin. It's a gravel adventure bike. What does gravel bike mean, really? What it means is we put a gravel adventure drivetrain on it. So this is the Shimano GRX drivetrain. So there's a smaller set of rings that you would find on a normal road bike. So this is 46 teeth on the top and 30 teeth on the bottom with an 1134 10-speed cassette. What that does, it brings the range of the uh, range of your gearing a little bit lower, so it helps with things like steep logging roads, or if you're carrying a lot of weight, doing bike packing, stuff like that. It just makes your overall ride a little bit easier, but still gives you full range. Might not be as fast on the road, but it's probably fast enough for all of us. Some people sometimes ask, well, why go to a two by instead of a one by? One by seems like it's all the rage these days. Well, the issue with one by is that, you know, especially here, you've got 10 speeds on the rear, and if you only had one on the front, that's 10 gears, so you've got a pretty big gap in between each one. And what that causes, it causes a little bit of difficulty sometimes to find a nice cadence or rhythm if you're on the road. So if you're on the road trying to go through a whole bunch of mileage, you know, having that ability to dial in your cadence and get your rhythm nice and comfortable, that's a big advantage when you're having a two-by system. In a one-by system, it is harder to do. Where one by does have an advantage, though sometimes if you just don't want to mess with it, uh, it just simplifies the, you know, the front shifting system. But where that's an advantage is on things like really technical riding, uh, you know, single track, stuff like that. That's where you can get by with a one by where you don't need to shift as often. This bike also has mechanical disc brakes. Any disc brakes are better than, you know, non-disc brakes. But there are hydraulic and there are mechanical. Hydraulic has a little bit more power modulation. But the nice thing about the mechanical is that it's at, it allows for infinite adjustability. So on these, these are Spire TRP uh, mechanical disc brakes. They're basically the best me mechanical brakes you can buy. And it allows you to adjust each side of the brake pads independently of each other. So it really makes it easy to dial them in to eliminate disc rub, stuff like that. And that can be an advantage if you're far away somewhere and you have a, a brake issue or something gets out of alignment, you bend, a, you, know, you bend a disc rotor or something like that. This would allow you to adjust that, be able to get home a lot easier because with a hydraulic system, you basically have no adjustments, they're automatic. It's an aluminum frame, but this has a, a carbon fork on it. So it's also a full carbon fork, which is a little rare at this price point. So it's carbon all the way down on down here, but also the steer is full carbon as well. The other thing we do on adventure bikes is we put a flared set of handlebars. This is a medium flare, but this brings your, hand, your hands out a little bit more, gives you a little bit more leverage for technical riding. But the other thing it does, it opens up a little bit of space up front. So if you're doing a handlebar bag, you know, your, your hands are not right up against it. It just gives you a little bit of a gap there, makes that a little bit easier. This bike has tubeless ready wheels and tires, uh, but they're also mounted onto Novatec sealed uh, bearing hubs. Novatec hubs are quite nice. Overall, so who is this bike for? This makes for a really good road bike, but an excellent gravel bike. You know, nice gearing for gravel adventure up on logging roads, really good for single track as well. But this works well as a bike packing type bike. It's really one of those bikes that kind of covers a lot of different categories. And so if, you know, if you're one of these types of people that just needs one bike that does a lot of things, this bike is an excellent fit. Comes in at $2,100. It's available now at your Brody dealer. So why don't you go check it out and arrange for a test ride. I think I should keep the glasses. Yeah, but somebody said they made me look cool. I don't think it was my mom. Besides, what kind of mom would lie to her own son about just something to make him feel cool?